Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Angela Deem and Michael Ilosami have endured one of the most contentious relationships in the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, and now the 58-year-old woman from Georgia wants her husband deported. Michael has reportedly separated from Angela and is now living in Indiana. He has been spotted partying with unidentified women, which has fueled rumors about his single status. Additionally, there were serious allegations of domestic violence involving Angela. Michael claimed he had to flee from their shared home due to violence from his wife, and the situation became more alarming when Michael was found by police after being reported missing. However, Angela isn't the only 90-day fiancé star to threaten her partner with deportation when things go awry. One notable instance involved Danielle Mullins, who suspected Mohammed Jabali used her to obtain a green card. She threatened him with deportation during a heated confrontation in Miami. Larissa Dos Santos Lima also faced deportation and domestic violence allegations from her then-husband, Colt Johnson. While there are plenty of touching love stories to come on 90 Day Fiancé Season 11, the drama sometimes ends in serious heartbreak. Will Angela get Michael deported? While Angela and Michael have been problematic throughout their entire courtship and marriage, a recent revelation unraveled their entire partnership. Aside from Michael ghosting Angela and starting a new life away from her, Angela made a shocking discovery in a recent episode of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After? Season 8. She stumbled upon a group chat on Michael's WhatsApp allegedly focused on scamming American women. If this information is true, Michael did use Angela to get a green card. Michael has often been accused of using Angela for a green card, but his messages in a WhatsApp group may be the only proof authorities need to verify these claims as true. Angela found hurtful evidence suggesting Michael's deceitful behavior such as sharing her personal financial information and being a ringleader in a group targeting visas. After making the discovery, Angela expressed her intent to report Michael to federal authorities and sought help from her immigration lawyer to initiate the deportation process. While Angela used to be considered the villain in their relationship, Michael is quickly losing his fan-favorite status. Michael isn't the only franchise member to face deportation. Beshalu Pula, originally from Samoa, moved to the United States after marrying Kalani Fakata, whom he met during her vacation in Samoa. While the pair are now separated, Asalu recently faced a deportation scare in 2023. The scare stemmed from concerns about his immigration status and the possibility of not being able to secure a stable path to permanent residency or citizenship in the U.S., if child support is a thing when the father is deported. Not that I think Asawilu could ever pay that I'm just curious how that works from this situation. Speculation about Asawilu's deportation arose in November 2023 when Reddit user u slash numast underscore s shared that Asawilu mentioned in a TikTok live that he had been deported due to expired papers. This caused many to worry about his children, saying, if child support is a thing when the father is deported. Not that I think Asawalu could ever pay that I'm just curious how that works from this situation. However, posts from Asawalu on social media indicate that he remains in the United States. Asawalu moved to Las Vegas in July 2023, dispelling rumors of deportation. Karen Everett, Chantal Everett's mother, made multiple attempts to have Pedro Gimeno deported following his and Chantal's divorce. The Everett matriarch and her husband, Thomas Everett, consulted a private investigator to gather information that could be used to deport Pedro. They believed Pedro married Chantal solely to gain entry to the United States and have taken steps to prove this, attempting to portray the marriage as a scam. Additionally, Pedro received letters from immigration authorities due to allegations made by Chantel. Despite these efforts, Pedro successfully obtained American citizenship, eliminating the possibility of deportation 
based on his marital status or the accusations made by Chantel and Karen. While Pedro and Chantel are unlikely to make amends, Pedro continues to live his best life as a real estate agent away from his former contentious relationship. Angela is far from the first 90-day K cast member to seek deportation and retribution for marital woes. However, she may have a better case than others like Pedro and Asulu. If the messages and membership in Michael's Nigerian WhatsApp group are true, his days in the United States could be numbered. While Angela is undoubtedly a villainous character, Michael...